Hi, LaRonda. Thank you so much. Listen, guys, when you're talking about it, now, first of all, you have every right to be concerned. That still doesn't mean that there is something wrong, but why can't you be proactive? Right? You you already have, you know, like you said, your little flavors here and there. Did you did your daughter who's what they say is clumsy and this, that, and the other have optimal development? The answer would be no, but that doesn't mean you can't change her future either. A lot of people think that we're just here for the babies. The babies are here to give you a good foundation on movement. Right? I work on 95-year-old babies. I just worked on a professional volleyball player the other day. I, you know, I work on everything. Um, it doesn't matter what, what I work on. Again, most people are here because of the babies, but, but movement is movement. Um, you know, I'm 58 and I, I, I move. I, I, I don't want to go out like some of my clients. Um, but that being said, you have a right to be concerned. At two months, your child should be doing more. I don't like the fist in hand and I don't like the fact that she's just really, st I wouldn't say stiff, but solid through the spine. So honestly, the newborn movement assessment, the reason you felt like it wasn't going right because you were getting the feedback, it wasn't able there. I can't tell you how gently you can touch a baby and they should just move. A baby is so, this, this is the thing about babies. They're so neutral, you can do anything with them or you should be able to do anything with them. And so when they're not responding to movement, ding, 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 you know what I mean? Like just, you're just not going into it right. Why? I can go on and on. I've done plenty of presentations on the warning signs from just the hospital. I mean, I think really one of the biggest things is just the infant security system on the newborns. Too many needle, you know, blown IVs, bam, bam, bam. You can get a child that's deviating on development. That has nothing to do with their cognitive prowess. And that's, that is the other big misconception is that everybody's waiting to see what the brain's ready to do. Guys, movement comes first. A baby doesn't come out of the womb and say, hey, mom, there's a cold one in the fridge, you know, come here. Because um, they don't have the cognitive. The movement develops it. So when babies don't have the right movement, then you don't necessarily have the right cognitive. And so that's the conversation we have to change. But that being said, we're only working on your daughter. Please, please, please just look at the newborn movement assessment and just consider the tummy time course. Um, it's not a horrible idea for you to go into the worried parent course, you know, but because that'll give you everything and you can just go step by step through her development. You get the foundation of tummy time, you go right into rolling over and you start doing the courses. You know, we have a whole year plan coming out that you can just go through her whole development step by step. And, uh, you know, but again, you want to start off and just go for it. I would start off with the tummy time course. Um, because again, the tummy time course, even that she's falling a little bit. Um, and, it, and two, if she was better with that tummy time and back conversation, you wouldn't see that, that hand fisting up. I don't like it. You know, it just shouldn't be there and it's going to deviate her movements. She's going to roll over only to one side when she's ready to roll over. The rolling over is going to be a little bit delayed. Again, at this moment, I'm not worried about her cognitive. I'm not here to diagnose him knows her but at the same time too if you're worried about development why shouldn't you be but here it's for movement all you're offering your child is new movement opportunities you know and the more you can move doesn't matter if you're my age or a brand new infant the more possibilities you have so i want possibilities for your daughter versus just this oh she'll be fine she'll be fine she'll be fine and then all of a sudden it's four months and then you know you're, you're the one texting me my baby i should have done something sooner she's six months old and not rolling over i don't want that conversation to happen and it shouldn't happen so by all means even if you don't tell anybody what you're doing it's just movement i'm not asking you to do anything threatening to your family or that but, but you've got to do the course. So I'm glad you did the newborn movement assessment and I'm glad you're seeing the frustration in you because most likely that's the frustration she's showing you. Honestly, with the baby, it should just look like the video that they're just moving with you. It's so gentle, my touch. You have no idea. Um, you know, that's the first thing people say when I actually feel them up. It really is that light, you know, like they just don't think it's possible, even for big old Felipe. You know what I mean? It really is just that gentle. You're doing it right but she's showing you that. So I get it that you're not familiar on the score, that's just fine, but you know right now that she's just responding not optimally. So that's where I would start. Um, you're, you're on the right course um, and just, just, just do a video um, and, and go from there. And if you have any more questions, by all means, but um, you should see improvement right away with her. And if there's any problems, again, use the board and ask away and we'll go from there. Thanks.